maybe these kind of projects should wait until you're not in North Carolina, it's not 80 degrees outside with 80% humidity. All right, I'm gonna go really slow to give you plenty of time to let me know if something's not looking right. Okay, landing gear is perfect. Slow, slow, slow. Landing gear's rubbing just a smidge. Because, wow, just walking out and you're like walking into a sauna. But anyway. So instead of baby, it's cold outside. Maybe it's, it's hot, hot outside. outside. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, if you haven't seen the video when we were at our first Harvest Host location on our trip, the Desert Diamond Distillery, there was where we parked, there was a slight downhill grade to get out. And we were a little concerned that we were going to have, potentially have something hit the ground as we went out. And one of our, one of our hydraulic jacks did hit the ground but it just barely touched but that got us to thinking about you know that's not a lot of clearance so what can we do to improve our clearance we started looking i started checking out youtube videos and there's actually plenty of bolt hole locations to raise the hydraulic jack up higher which will increase our clearance from the ground uh, make it easier getting in and out of parking lots and things like that, especially since we put the snap pads on As we put the snap pads on um, And it, they probably take up an inch of the clearance we had which was already slim Ended I'm not going to adjust the front ones because they're already pretty high up and we've never had any clearance issues at the front I'm just going to adjust the back so we'll raise the back hydraulics up take all the weight off of the jacks and uh, it's just a three quarter inch bolt and nut. There's three on each side of the jack. We'll break those, we'll take it off. We'll move it up one position, maybe two. Now with this hydraulic slides, there's a crossbar going across from side to side. So we may not have enough room to raise the jack up more than one position. We'll see when we start raising it. I'd like to raise it too, but I think it's only going to be able to go one because of that bar. Let's get started. We got to start by raising those jacks. All right, so you definitely need a breaker bar for this. Come on in there, <laughs> beautiful assistant. It's time, for, off time for my lovely assistant to make her appearance because oh, she's been helping a lot. It's freaking hot out here. It is. All right, so. She, because of the positioning of the bolts, so these top two bolts, the very top one is behind part of the frame on the inside. So I cannot get my breaker bar on it on the back side. So had to switch to a box wrench on the back side and get my lovely assistant on the front side with a breaker bar. So having a breaker bar is very important because the these are on pretty tight. Managed to break all of these now. So I'm going to have her with a socket wrench on the front. I'm going to be on the back side with the box in wrench holding them. She's going to take them off. Let's start down here. So, man, is it hot out here? <laughs> uh, I don't know, it took an hour and a half maybe. Uh, part of that could have been alleviated had we been on a flat surface, but we're on a little bit of a slope surface. So I want to give you just an idea. So what we did is this one is the rear one. And this is the one that drug the ground a little bit when we uh, were leaving Desert Diamond Distillery. So this, on this one because of the the slope here when we first backed in it maybe had that much clearance from the ground before deploying the jack so we've managed to raise it up probably two inches so that should give us a lot more clearance once we get out on the road and make it easier for us getting in and out of parking lots and give us less opportunity to cause more damage to the trailer it gave me a good opportunity to kind of look around underneath the trailer as well and inspect my hangers and, and what have you, and shackles um, also while I was under there. But it'd definitely be a lot better to be doing this on a nice level surface 
on a day where it's not so hot and humid. All right. On to the next project. We got water and electric, but no sewer. So the guy right here next to us, uphill from us, he's got the sewer. He's the last one in the row of just a few that has sewer. The owner does offer for a fee a dump tote that he'll bring and empty your tanks. But you know, I've got like a 46 gallon black tank and then a couple 40 something gallon gray tanks. So I got over 120 waters or 120 gallons of wastewater. So I asked, well, I have a macerator pump and it will pump uphill. Is it okay if I use that and tap into his connection? He said yes, so I talked to the guy uphill from us and he's fine with it, no problems. So that's the way we've been taking care of our tanks when we need to empty is hooking up our flow jet macerator and then yes you can make it go uphill <laughs> you just need a macerator pump we'll show you how it works and he has to walk all the way around the fence to hook the water hose up because my water connection is underneath <laughs> the fence over here so a y on top of a y on top of a y first things first about terra blade at the end of your sewer connection this thing is like your last saving grace before anything in the tanks can get out to where the cap is so when you take the cap off you don't get a surprise of anything now it's also a bonus here is that i always 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 use a clear connection at first so i can see what's happening make sure everything's moving now see another reason why valterra blade is so important is if i have a problem with my macerator pump for some reason it stops working or whatever I can close that Valterra valve and I only have that few inches of stuff out of the black tank on this side of the valve that I have to worry about coming out when I disconnect the pump. So if I didn't have that Valterra valve, think about it, I'd shut off my normally close my normal black tank valve and I've got the entire pipe's length from the tank all the way to the end of black tank waste sitting there waiting so it makes taking this pump off almost impossible so you don't want that you need a high pressure hose for this i've got a 50 foot hose the manufacturer recommends various lengths and diameter and all that stuff um, so alice gets the fun part which is the other end of the hose because you really need somebody to kind of watch both ends because you don't want to overheat your pump and if you start having a problem you need to be here where the cutoff switch is so my switch keeps me like six feet away from the pump but about 45 feet that way is where the sewer connection is so Alice will be over there just making sure that that hose stays in the um, waste and doesn't pop out under pressure when I activate the pump what are you really looking forward to about this trip? Back to New Hampshire. I think for me, going back to New Hampshire is being able to uh, see all of the friends that we have kept in touch with over the last, how many years have we been gone? Uh, 2009, so... Yeah. 12 That's years 12 years 12 years yep. uh, so seeing all of our friends um, and just seeing New Hampshire in a different way than when you have kids and you're you know trying to make your kids happy what do you want to do our finances are different our what we want to do outside is different you know we're just very different people in the last 12 years and so I'm really excited to get back and see it all in different eyes yeah Excited to be getting out of this 90 degree temperatures with 90 to 90% 90 humidity. It's been great visiting dad for the last two weeks, but I'm done with this weather. Yeah, the weather's been terrible. The last two weeks it's rained almost every day. Yeah. I don't think we've had... Uh... If it wasn't raining, the humidity is so bad that you're just standing outside and you yeah. sweat. Yep. So... All right, uh, all right we Lee, need to get moving. Get, let's get moving because you got a lot more work to do inside than I got to do outside. All right, let's go. I gotta finish my coffee.
going towards me. Okay. All right, that's good right there. 